Okay, so I clearly fucked up on the Batgirl. But did you guys know that this game is actually a combination of Advanced Wars and... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Wargroove, uh, the game that is apparently a combination of two games that I really like, but I just can't remember which ones at the moment, so maybe you guys can help me out in the comment section and just remind me, what which two games is this game a, a combination of again? I, I, I don't remember. Um, so, are we getting two episodes in a single day? Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. I love this game. And immediately after recording the first episode, I was like, shit, I want to play more Wargroove. And that is always a good thing when you play a new game. So, before we continue, I'm going to bump up the difficulty a little bit more. I'm going to bump it up to 120% damage taken. Because I honestly feel very confident uh, so far. I know that the difficulty will scale naturally as well, but I feel like giving myself a little bit of a bigger challenge. Then, um, I am going to do something, people pointed this out in the comment section and I could not be happier. They got a colorblind mode for red-green, that is so nice, thank you. Oh, I love it when developers do this, it's so kind of them. That means that I won't be screwed over by my colorblindness anymore. So yeah, let us continue, guys. Uh, worst enemies forever, apparently is the chapter name. Unhappy with her defeat, Ragna decides to take matter into her own hands. Ooh, she gonna be mad. She gonna be mad, son. You know, Ragna reminds me of Olaf from Advanced Wars. I feel like she plays the same role. She's even blue. So you won. Who even cares? All you did was beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons. <laughs> I care, and I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. Grrr. Enough messing around. Crush you. Are we gonna fight her now? Ragna has moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors affection to a region. To win, we can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna herself. I understand. I'm joining this fight personally. Look, over there, one of our knights have beaten us here. Knights are strong, fast-moving units. However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. Knights sound great. Let's get started. Hold your horses. It seems this knight is low in health. Is there something we can do to help? Indeed, there is. This is where reinforcements come into play. Simply move a wounded unit next to one of your structures and select reinforce. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Well, I already knew this. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcements. However, their health will gradually be restored over time, as will that of certain units. All structures regain 10% health every turn. And all commanders, such as yourself, regain 5%. Okay, well that is pretty nice. So we go over here and we reinforce. Wow, 360 gold. That's, uh, <laughs> this guy is expensive. Excellent, our knight's back to full health. Yes. yes, though it's important to note that reinforcing has its drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs an amount of gold proportional to the unit's value. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of the structure. Oh! Got it. Reinforcements cost gold and transfers health from the structure. Okay, I should start by taking control of these barracks in nearby villages. Okay, let's take a look at this knight, shall we? Six moves. So these are essentially the tanks of the game. They cannot capture stru structures, but they're really good at fighting. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, just uh, go capture this. <clears throat> we could use this. So we actually have a commander on the field, so the commanders actually fight in this game, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> She's got four move. Um, does she have any special abilities, any way to score crits? Not that I can see, but she's apparently effective against the whole swath of enemies, so that's nice. Oh, you can actually see how much damage she does, that's nice. Look at that. You can, this is similar to Super Famicom Wars, where you can actually see their damage. I love it, this is great. Okay, so only one unit can capture then? <clears throat> My bad. Alright, turn one. Apparently you can also turn animations off. I sort of knew that already though. I will probably, I mean as cutesy as the, these animations are and they really are adorable, I will probably turn them off pretty quickly because they get sort of repetitive after a little while. As commanders, you and Ragnar are both powerful units on the battlefield. You can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Make the most of your strength as a commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander also loses the battle. Okay, I can do this. Alright, so that, I really like that actually. It's sort of like having a king in chess. I love it. Alright, uh, let's go capture this village. 
Yeah, and you can skip it by holding in the mouse button, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, and that's right, you actually capture in a single turn now, I remember, but the structure gets reduced to the amount of health that your unit has. So we have 260 gold. Uh, I think, uh, probably, let's just get some swordsmen out here. There you go. And I think I'm just gonna go and seize that village next. And I'm guessing this knight can probably go and have some fun. I don't want to get a first strike by this guy, though, so... How far can he go? He can go here. I would be more happy if these were red, honestly. The tiles that he could attack, that is. But I guess this works. <clears throat> Turn two. Alright, so there's Ragna. Does she only have six health? <coughs> okay, seriously, man. Stop it. Ah, gotta drink some Pepsi. Ragna has recruited a Dread Spear, a Felheim Spearman. It would be prudent to check the Spearman's info screen. Okay. So these are the same Spearman as I have, right? Let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. This table tells us which units the Spearman is especially effective against. Oh no, it says that they're effective against cavalry. Yeah, Spearman will deal extra damage against units such as our knight. Go ahead and close this window when you're ready. Yeah, that makes sense, honestly. I've played Edge of Empires, I know how this works. We should make sure not to pull our knight and put our knight in any unnecessary danger. This would be a good time to check the enemy's movement range. How do I do that? Let me show you. Yeah, I already know that. I know how to do it. I played the game before. <clears throat> By holding this button, you can display how much, how far the selected unit can move. Awareness of the enemy range is important when positioning your units. <clears throat> I should keep the knight out of reach of the dread spear. Good thinking, my queen. All women are queens, guys. Keep this in mind. Okay, so yeah, we want to be wary of this guy. Uh, maybe we'll just keep the knight here, honestly. Yeah, I think we will. Now, I can attack here, but I think maybe it would be better to wait, honestly. Wait for some reinforcements. Um, Don't these guys score critical hits when they're next? Yeah, they're, when they're adjacent to their commanders, they score critical hits. So I should bring my commander up. I can send this guy down to capture instead. Oh no, wait, it's already captured. Never mind. What if I send, um, Mercia over here? Oh, you can't move on top of buildings, can you? No, you can't. Okay, then. I think we'll just do this, and then we'll recruit... Um... I'll, we'll just get another swordsman, honestly. Getting infantry is always important. I played Advanced Wars before. Oh, shit, of course he can attack my building, but it shouldn't die from this? No. It's even gonna weaken them a little bit, but I, I need to be careful, of course, or else I'm gonna lose the building. Okay, so now, now I really... <laughs> interesting maneuver! Hmm, this part of Cherry Stone is more protested... Protested? Oh, forested than I remember. God damn it, those peace! Yes. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. You may have noticed that traveling through a forest will slow you down. Now that you mention it, I also noticed that units struggle with mountains. Additionally, some terrain will increase or decrease our defense of a unit. Forests will give you a boost on defense, while rivers will make you vulnerable. You can read more about terrain type by checking its tile info. I will, thanks, Americ. Right, so again, this is pretty classic Advanced Wars stuff. Although, forests have tree defense as opposed to two in Advanced Wars, so that's kind of interesting. Roads have zero, sea have one, that's interesting, mountain have four. Okay, so I'm gonna take advantage of my critical strike right now. I'm going to attack with my commander. Wow, she just actually wipes out this guy immediately. Whoa, strong woman right here, guys. Ah, useless skeletons. If you surrender, we can just end this now. We don't have to keep fighting. Never! And then, I can do a critical strike by being adjacent to my commander. Looks like you do about 50% more damage when you do that. So that is pretty good. Can you combine units in this game? I hope so. Now, what I'm actually kind of curious about, if, if the knight gets the first strike on the Dread Spear, will, he, will I be able to do some decent damage to it? Um... I think I'm gonna get myself a ranger next. They're pretty good. I wish you could double click on them to instantly recruit them. That would be kind of nice. Oh, they're retreating. Cowards! 
Now I would like to um, see what if I if I press uh, uh, mission options. Is there any way I can um, I can maybe do uh, my turn only, commanders only maybe? I do want to see their animations, honestly. Oh, grid. How's the grid? Oh, I do like the grid, actually. We're gonna keep the grid on. Health display, health bars, or number badges. I think I'm gonna keep do number badges, honestly. Automatic land turn, sure. Hmm. Is there no way to just, I don't know, turn off building animations? A little bit annoying, but oh well. Alright, I'm gonna take advantage of my critical strike feature again. By moving my commander in. And that's gonna... Okay, so this one will hurt a little bit more because pikemen are a little bit better at fighting. But I still think this is good. They're worth a lot more. So this is a pretty cost-efficient engagement for me, I think. Even though she did get a little bit sad right there. Uh, so she has a ranger now too, which is a little bit scary. Uh, maybe I should just go attack. No, wait. I can attack buildings, but I can't capture them, right? That's how it works. See, so yeah, I need I need an infantry if I want to take over the building myself. But I can destroy it. There we go. Let's bring our rangers into the picture as well. And we don't have enough for a knight just yet. But we can build another swordsman. Alright, turn five. Let's go. Oop, here comes the enemy commander. Let's see how strong she is. Oof. Ooh. That hurts. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Maybe we'll see like a commander versus commander battle. Okay, there goes my knights. Rip knights. Rip Knights. So, I guess what we can do now is we can send this guy around here. I think I might be able to kill the commander this turn, honestly. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. So, we can attack 69 that Yeah, we can totally do this. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Uh, really? Oh, I'm gonna do 16 damage. She's gonna do 69. Okay, I see. Ah, uh, <clears throat> let's not do that then. Let's just kill the rangers immediately. Wow, the commanders are so busted. Holy shit. Alright, let's kill this build building. So, I don't think that means I instantly take it over, right? No, it just turns it gray. My village, give that back! You won't get it back without a fight. Alright, we got a ranger coming into action as well. And a swordsman that will probably never <laughs> reach the battlefield, but that won't stop me from building him. My god, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Holy shit. So, why isn't the turn auto-ending? Do I need to turn on auto-end? I'm honestly fine with that. Uh, no way. It should automatically end turn. Oh, right, I have a swordsman left. Um, I think I'll just capture, honestly. So, of course, this means that the house will only be on two health, I think. So, she can easily take it back if she wants to, but I'm fine with that. I kind of like how buildings kind of operate as units on their own that fight and protect themselves. It, it really creates a very u unique dynamic to the whole Wars uh, game. Anyway, I'm getting my ass kicked by Ragna here. Ow! Holy shit, the commanders are so strong, though. Like, seriously, they are ridiculous. Okay, oh my god, what the hell? She actually retaliates? Okay, no, she doesn't. If I move into melee combat, she will retaliate. Ay ay ay. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing we're just gonna have to try and, like, slowly chip her down as much as we can. So we can do 30% damage to her. We can reinforce, though. Can't we? No, you have to be next to a barracks to reinforce, I think. Uh, I guess what I can do now... I'll, I'll only do 28% damage to this guy. That's not a lot. I won't fail. Now, I think it's probably better to just use my commander as much as possible to try and kill the enemy units. 
and then just like pray that she doesn't kill me, I suppose. Again, I wish I didn't have to press attack. It would have been much more intuitive if I could have just double clicked on the unit that I wanted to fight. Like, just go boom and then just double click. I would have liked that a lot more, honestly. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my ass. Can I join? It doesn't seem like there is a join command. That makes me a little bit sad, honestly. A little bit. Okay, I'm gonna place this unit here as bait for Ragna. I just want to slow her down, pretty much, and then I want another ranger, because, uh... Actually, maybe a knight would be better. I'm gonna give myself a knight. Apparently, uh, commanders are good against infantry units, so maybe a cavalry unit is just what we need. Okay, we gotta be careful here. This this could hurt. This could hurt. Fight me one-on-one! -on -one. Oof! Okay, she's pretty tough. I gotta... Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I just lose? Did I just lose? Oh, my god, I almost lost. Holy shit, I almost lost. I gotta back off. I gotta back off. This is actually super bad for me. Oof, okay. Um, please retreat. Please retreat. Oh my god, that was super scary. Holy shit. Okay, do you guys think it's safe to... I gotta get away from her. I have to get away from her. But as soon as I get my knight into play, we should be better. I think if you play on a handicap, I think that really affects the enemy commander. Alright, you go back here. We cannot lose our commander, that would be really bad. However, we have inflicted some pretty nice damage to their commander. Oh shit, our... no wait, I thought I thought we were on, <laughs> on one health, but that's that's our commander. Alright, keep chipping her down. Come on, she's so fucking tough. Alright, we got 360 right now. I think just another swordsman, probably. And then we got these guys. Not really sure what we're gonna do with these, honestly. We could... I'm not gonna try to take that fort, honestly. I'm just gonna protect my ranger. Oh, I can re- now I can reinforce, apparently. That's interesting. Why- Oh, because the building's low on health. That's why I couldn't do it. Now I remember. Okay, she's actually running away now. Is she, like, hard-coded to run away from the knights? Ow. That hurt. Kinda interested in why she isn't attacking my building. That is kinda weird. Okay, so we don't wanna do this. Even though we actually do quite a lot of damage. Um... Okay, so we're standing still now, which means we'll score a critical hit. Very nice. Does that mean we can... If we keep our Lord or maybe we should just keep our Lord around. I don't know. We could probably just storm the Stronghold. But the Stronghold fights back. Like, it's kind of funny. It's like capping the HQ in Advanced Wars if the HQ actually fights back, which is kind of funny. But I guess it's... We should probably just do this. Okay, so I am going to send my commander back, though, and reinforce. It's gonna take a lot of my cash, but I think it's worth it, honestly. And I can still build a swordsman here. Okay, and I think we're just gonna keep attacking the HQ, honestly. Even though it takes quite a heavy toll on our swordsman. Okay, nice. So, now she comes back. Oh, she's attacking the knights now. This is bad news, I think. Ow! Holy shit, she's so strong! Okay, that's it. I'm just killing the stronghold. Fuck this shit. Yeah, take back the village. I don't care. I'm, I'm capping your HQ, lady. Something tells me my rankings are not gonna be particularly great on this <laughs> map. Okay. Uh, let's see... So... We can do 20% damage to the structure. And then we can do... Can we win this turn? We might be able to, honestly. Uh, maybe? I think this will actually kill me. Yeah, it did. Come on! 
Come on! Will the knight be able to seal the deal? Uh, I think I think I will. I think this is a win, actually. Let's go! Come on, take the HQ! Yes! Man, that was a tough fight. You did it! Phew, that was tough. I lost? That's impossible. Impossible? You must have cheated. You cheated, didn't you? No. No? It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. So I'm going to... You'd better run! Oh no, it's raining. Don't tell me this game has has rain. Oh wow, who the fuck are those guys? Lord Walter? Ragna. Quiet, Ragna. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside and let me fix your mess. Ooh, okay. Alright, we got a B rank. I'm pretty happy about that, considering playing with a 20% handicap, honestly. I'm pretty happy with the difficulty so far. I don't think I'm gonna amp it up any further. So, we got some additional lore about Ragna. Man, this game is all sorts of fun. Holy shit, I love this game. Uh, okay, guys, we'll be continuing with the next mission in the next part. Give it a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. My name is Tim Manx, and I shall see you lovely ladies and gentlemen next time. Bye-bye. Uh,